Assalamu alaikum. My name is Risha and this is my first ever voiceover tutorial and that may be the reason why I sound so shaky. So forgive me for that and for my broken English. <laughs> okay, so before I change my mind about this, let's dive right into Photoshop, shall we? Okay, so today we are going to try and create something like this. Um, okay, so first of all, create new or go to file new. I'm going to print and uh, there are actually a lot of options here. Um, you can choose any option that you like, for example, for web based applications or web based mediums, you can choose web and also you can add presets you can view all presets we are going to just um, choose a4 and uh, we're going to choose pixels and we'll just write 1500 by 1500 and then um, rename this as something like anything that you want like facebook post or anything doesn't matter um everything else seems to be okay background white rgb mode resolution 300 you can change the resolution if you want if the file size is too huge okay so this is our canvas okay so we want to create a text first of all so if you don't see the uh, text window you can go to the window and select a uh, character so you can you know adjust um, these windows as much as you want and uh, if you get confused or if everything mess up you can just raise it to essential okay so i'm going to um, insert uh, this picture this is a picture i got from uh, pexels.com which is a free um, stock photo website uh, I'll give the link in the description okay so we want to uh, enlarge this okay then I'm going to go to filter and um, select camera raw filter this is a really cool feature that um, Photoshop has uh, from this camera raw feature we can um, adjust the color gradings um, the color temperature and uh, everything you can um, just experiment yourself okay we are going to lower the temperature and maybe increase not decrease if we decrease um, the tint amount to the green side um, it will get more green up the leaves will get more greener okay so exposure increase the exposure a little bit and uh, lower the contrast just play around with the settings and to find a setting that you like and press okay okay now when you hit okay uh, your leaf layer will create a smart filter that indicates that these are the changes that you have just made now we are going to create the text to create the text we are going to uh, hit the t icon on the left or you can just hit the t key on your keyboard now we're going to write something something like this okay now we are going to uh, enlarge the text layer by going to by hitting Control T or going to the or going to edit and transform, we're going to position this on uh, on the middle. Just trying to find a uh, an area that suits the effect that you are trying to make. Okay, now we are going to make this text bold. Roboto is uh, a font that I I 
used a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> and uh, we are going to, okay, we need, uh, we need to create a gradient for that we'll right click the text layer and go to blending options, go to gradient overlay. We're going to create a gradient that is, uh, that is uh, going from a uh, light gray to um, white. Now we are going to uh, cut out this um, leaf part and put it above the, uh, the text layer so that it looks like uh, the text is behind. So what you have to do is hide it. So to hide it, uh, we're clicking this I button on the left side of the layer. We are hiding it uh, to select this uh, leaf part that will fall on the text part. Now we don't have to select all the leaves, just have to select the part that will fall on the text layer. So we are just going to select this part. Okay, first of all, I am using quick selection tool and here I am trying to um, make a selection as refined as possible but later i'm going to refine it more with the select and mask option making a refined selection can be intimidating um, but with much practice uh, you can mask it i'm going to uh, skip this part I'm going to click select and mask and um, I'm going to view and I'm going to select white. There are a lot of options here and I'm going to select white because it's going to show me um, these black parts that I have to remove later. Okay, what you have to select from the left side is the brush tool that's above the lasso tool. I'm going to decrease the size and I'm gonna uh, try to refine it as much as possible. Now I'm going to feather it, increasing the feather amount. And I'm going to shift. The edges to the left side. Okay. We have made a selection now. All we have to do now is uh, click the mask button. It's not as perfect as we wanted it to be, but uh, we can always refine it with the brush tool. Just paint on the mask layer with black to remove. and uh, with white to make any part visible. Now let's try to create a shadow 
and to do that we are going to select the mask layer by control click in the uh, the mask and we are going to create a new layer this right click and select inverse and we are going to fill it with uh, 50% gray right click and select now we are going to decrease the fill amount to zero and right click the layer with the shadow and go to blend options and then go to drop shadow and now we're going to select multiply and uh, select black and uh, decrease the opacity and now we're going to play around with the settings find uh, and increase the distance uh, to increase the distance between the layer and the shell. This looks good enough, I think. Okay, now if you want to um, increase the text size, you have to unlock this text layer and the mask. Now we are going to increase the text layer and we have to make adjustments to the shadow also we're going to remove the shadow we're going to do the same procedure that we did before and now we have a text with the effect that we want all right uh, i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial this may not be the best tutorial out there but uh, i hope it helped you one way or the other uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit the like button um, so that i can make videos like this full time okay i'll see you guys in the next video inshallah until then salam